All right, so this video is going to be for adductor brevis and adductor longus. Um, we often do these two together because they're very similar and have very similar actions. Um, so adductor longus versus brevis, I'm gonna passively show him what we're gonna be doing. And we're gonna start off in a slightly lengthened position. So closer to neutral, we started off with pectineus, a little bit of bend. Now we're going a little bit further out, which would be brevis and then we'd start from even further out for longus. So for brevis, from the boat here, I'm gonna ask Adam to flex his leg up and bring it across his body like so. So can you do that for me? Good. Now again, in a flexed position, we're gonna have him hold. Now what it's gonna actually look like is since we're in mid-range, the leg almost looks like it's straight up and down or closer to neutral. So I'm gonna ask him to hold his leg. I'm gonna brace on his opposite leg and he's gonna bring his legs together. And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good. And now from about that same starting position, bring your leg up and across. Don't interrupt the leg, allow it to complete its motion. Now for longus, we're gonna start again in that slightly wider position. So can you bring your leg up and across? Good. So instead of starting at neutral like we did for brevis, we're gonna keep it out in a slightly flexed position off the table. He's gonna again get a hold. I'm gonna to try to push the two legs apart. And again, three, two, and one. And I'm gonna start in that lengthened position and he's gonna bring his leg up and across. Good. So the length position is gonna be exactly the same as we did for pectineus. I'll show that again one more time. So let's have him on the side facing away from you. You're going to support the whole lower extremity, you're going to push down on the pelvis, you're going to extend the thigh and abduct it until you get resistance like so. 